Hi, this is Mahesh Ravi and in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to create an isometric graph. So we're going to start with Illustrator. So here we are in Illustrator. Before we start building an isometric design, we definitely need an isometric grid and by default we are not going to get an isometric grid in Illustrator so we'll have to create one and it's fairly easy. So if you go to the um, line segment tool kit, you can see the rectangular grid tool. So just select it and click on your canvas to create a basic grid. So there are a couple of things that you need to keep in mind um, while you are creating a grid. The size doesn't matter at this point, but make sure that it has enough uh, segments in the horizontal and vertical um, dimensions and click OK. So here we have a grid. This is not an isometric grid uh, yet. So we have to convert this into an isometric grid. So I'm going to scale this up a bit so that we can see this a little clearly. What we need to do is to um, do some modifications to the grid to make it isometric. So what I'm going to do first is going to right click here, go to transform and click on scale. In the scale window, what you have to do is to select the non-uniform uh, scaling. And for the vertical um, measurement, you have to give this number 86.602. And once you click OK, you have uh, squeezed the grid a bit, which is really important for the next step that we're going to do. So you're going to right click here again, go to transform and click on share. And in here, we have to share this grid in a 30 degree angle. So hit 30 and click OK. We sort of have a, um, a grid um, distorted, which looks in a perspective, but it's still not isometric. So we have to invert this in a bit. So we have to right click go to transform, click on a rotate and enter negative 30 in here and click OK. Now we have an isometric grid. So another really important thing that we can and very useful uh, thing that we can do here in Illustrator is that you can select this grid and convert that into guides so that when you are illustrating on top of it, um, the, your workflow becomes really easy. So you can select this grid, go to view, click on guides and click on make guides. Now all the uh, grids that we have are grids which when you are drawing it will automatically snap to uh, the points. So once you're ready with this um, it's time to start drawing your isometric shapes. So in your layer palette um, create a new layer and let's start drawing. So I'm going to select the pen tool and right now uh, the pen tool doesn't have any fill and it just has a stroke which is pretty okay right now. So I'm going to just click on um, the grid and make a quick um, drawing like this. So we have created a base right now. So you can go to the fill and select a uh, color for this area. Yeah, we have it right now. So what I'm going to do is we need some um, depth to this. So we're going to create a new layer, bring it underneath uh, the base layer and selecting this layer, we're going to draw the rest of the shape. So we can select the pen tool once again. Okay, we made one shape here. We can create another layer and uh, we'll draw this shape as well. Okay. So we can turn off the grid for the time being and we can see that we have created um, a platform like this. So we need to do a couple of corrections here. We're going to select the shapes, go to the fill area and we will sort of remove the stroke from all the shapes. We don't need the stroke here. Okay, we have uh, the shape right now. Now, when you're doing isometric illustrations, uh, one really important thing that you need to um, look out for is the lighting. We need to decide where the light is coming from to create a believable effect. So in this case, um, imagine the light is coming from this side. So it is going to hit this area and these sides are going to be a little bit darker than this shade. So we're going to select this 
uh, area here we're going to just go to the fill and add a little bit of black into the shade we'll do the same thing here select this go to fill and increase the dark values a little more so we have a uh, an isometric shape right here so um, you can still keep using the grid to draw more shapes in here and create and into isometric uh, illustrations but what i'm going to do now for the rest of this um, tutorial is to create um, and to use the 3d capability of illustrator to create the isometric effect so to do that i'm going to select a basic shape so we have a shape like this it's going to go and modify the shape a little bit and we'll tweak the color a little so let's go with a gray okay so we have this right now and what we're going to do is we're going to take the um, we're going to go to the effect tab and click on 3d to extrude and bevel so if you click preview you can see that we have already applied the extrude and bevel but what we need is an isometric effect for the 3d so on the position uh, preset we can choose the isometric left and we can see that it's in the same um, angle as your isometric base so once you do there you can do the arrangement so i just want to reduce the thickness of this um, yeah i think this works fine you can play around with the lighting directions so the light intensity highlight intensity you can just raise it and you can, you can see that there so now you have it and click ok so we have uh, one shape right here you can bring it to um, the base um, now um, I want to bring in another shape here so I just want to emulate a phone screen so I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to create a basic shape for the screen just going to scale this a little down and change the fill color to white so once you have it you can go to the um, effect and you can see the previous effect that you have already applied you can just click on that and it will repeat the effect on this so now you can click on the 3d extrude and bevel option in the properties panel and it'll open up the 3d effect of this and click on preview so that you can see the effect reduce the thickness to 5 i'm going to go like that and i'm going to increase the ambient light also so since it's a screen i just want a little more visibility for the screen and click ok so we have that in here so now we have created that i need a little more components uh, from the phone which is actually displayed on the screen so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select an ellipse make an ellipse like this and we'll change the color to black what we'll do is i'm going to go to the file click on place i'm going to bring in an image to place in this space so i'm going to go here click on the photo and i'm going to place that picture right here i'm going to send it to the back and i'm going to select both the layers together object clipping mask and click make so we have um, the face in this particular shape which is good i'm going to select this go to effect apply extrude and bevel so we have that also like this which is yeah good so i'm going to select this again click on 3d bevel and emboss we'll change the value to maybe five and click on preview so we can see how that is affecting i think two will be perfect here okay we have that and click ok so we have that right here so i'm going to bring that as well scale it down a bit we have uh, the profile picture right there like that now let's add a little more uh, you know a couple of more elements like that so i'm going to just do this change the color to a blue and make a couple of copies okay select that Control G to group them and again go to effect and apply bevel and boost just go there and adjust your um, thickness so if I'm going to go to 3 and that's fine click OK and you can scale it down and move it to here 
So we have um, a basic isometric shape um, like this, a grid like this. With So we basically used two techniques. One was to manually sketch the isometric grid and the other option was to create um, isometric shapes from 3D uh, geometry. Right. So let's click on this. I'm just going to play around with the colors a little bit. Yeah. Right. So we have that right now. It's all looking good. So now another thing that we can do here is to add a little more um, interest into the scene, we can bring in uh, a character from here. So I have um, an EPS which I downloaded from FreePick. I'm going to bring in that EPS right here. So we have a set of characters in here and you can choose a character from here and bring it to your scene. So I'm going to go to the direct selection and I'm going to select the character that I want and I'm move it to the scene in here. So we have a scene like this. So um, it's pretty easy to make an isometric shape uh, like this. You can you can still play around with it. You can create a lot of dramatic effects here. Um, to create a shadow will be a really interesting touch. So if I duplicate this um, shape uh, right here, click OK, move it a little to the back, and I'll go to Effect, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and take it. Okay, click OK. Now we have um, an interesting shadow which adds a little more uh, depth to the story. So I hope this was useful. Try it out. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you with another video soon. Bye.